Hello hard hats and welcome back to Construction Simulator on the last job for Mr. Strange, the uh, Prestige campaign over here in Europe. Uh, our mobile crane is there and I'm trying to figure out, and I'm thinking it will, will that crane reach from grabbing that stuff to placing over there? Well, we're about to give it a try, so let's go ahead on over. Oh yeah, by the way, building the crane over here, in case you're wondering, there is a hammer here. Found that when I took the thumbnail at the end of the last episode. Uh, let's jump into the crane, our Sani. I mean, I, I'm thinking this will reach. We're about to find out. I think there is actually a little bit of a platform just to the right. I could probably move this over to if it doesn't reach, but I'm hoping it will. Let's try to get the farthest one first. I'm like 85% sure this will reach. Now I'm like 100% sure it's going to reach. Alright, let's bring it over. We'll grab the other one. And that should easily reach. Nope, oh, nope, there. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, got it. Finally. Alright. Let's bring it over. Alright, so that is in place. Now what? Oh, okay, we're going to place two more. They magically appear just like that. I hate that little fly sound. Makes me want to wave my hand over my head trying to get rid of the bugs. All right, let's not drop this into the water though. We don't want to be doing that. Don't know how deep that water is there and I don't want to have to go try to fetch it. Are we far from where we built the... Uh, the little beach with all the stores on it? Is that just down there? Could be down there. Is it behind us? No, I have no idea where it is. Uh, ooh, now I gotta reach. I don't think I can reach that far, can I? Well, let's go ahead and see if I can reach that far before I pick up these pieces here. Alright, I should. Yeah, we're gonna reach that. We're gonna reach that, no problem. I say no problem. It, it's a stretch. If I can get this to line up. Alright. Am I going to have to go over to the other side to get the other ones up? Or are they going to put those up for me? Because I think... We're maxing out our crane right there. I think our crane's maxed out. So if there's more to put down, we are going to have to move the crane. It is getting to be almost nighttime as well, so if I do move the crane, we will skip to the night. Uh, two more. Yeah, I am. Let me just see if the crane is maxed out. Yeah, that is not going to reach either. Or, uh, let's reset that. Put it into driving mode. So, I mean, the crane has got to stay over here because that's where the uh, beams are. Oh, there's a car right behind me. Yeah, excuse me. Let me just push you back a little bit. All right, we'll get off the road. Are they going to let me expand the footings down here or not? That's the question. 
Oh, they are going to let me put those down. Okay. Well, if I can't reach it from here, then I'm not sure exactly what they would want me to do because... Yeah, it'd be hard to reach it from anywhere else, honestly. I don't... Unless... I was supposed to drive down on that bridge over there? The floating bridge? But I think I made up the difference. Ooh, maybe not. Oh, no, it's going to take it. All right, that was, uh, that's cutting it close. I'm guessing I, I was supposed to go down to the floating bridge where I was doing access before. But, uh, here works. All right, let's get this last piece in and then we'll see what the next job is and hit the snooze button for about... Uh, was it 12 hours? Maybe not even 12 hours. All right, so now we got to deliver pallets of wood and such stuff like that. Uh, well, yeah, I'm going to have to use the crane. Gonna we'll have to use the crane. All right, let's go ahead and do that. fold those in and if I teleport over there or fast travel it'll put me right where we need to be All right, let's jump out of there though and we were gonna go ahead and sleep till morning get back to the crane I'm going to stop and doesn't really need it, but I want to keep on refueling and repairing when I think about it. Just to try to upgrade our company a little bit, which still I'm not really know what that's supposed to do. I don't know if it gives us more jobs or not. Not campaign jobs, but just regular jobs. Maybe there's different type of tasks you got to do. I have no idea. Anyways, uh, rebar and mesh. Need two of them. Uh, so, yeah, basically you want everything. All right, gotcha. You want everything up there. I mean, I could have brought the truck down with a flatbed. Loaded it on the flatbed. Drove up there and unloaded it and put it down. But we got a big, expensive crane. You may as well go ahead and use it. One third of the delivery up there. Get the concrete forms in place. And we'll see. I I'm pretty sure they're going to have me concreting the roadway. And it might be just as easy to just grab our mixer and drive the mixer on the road and pour the concrete that way. Now, is it the right way to do the job in real life? Of course not. Is it the easiest way to do it in the game? Of course it is. So, <laughs> now first let's see what they give me for the job to do. We should be able to finish this off today. This whole bridge job and be done with Mr. Strange and we can move on to another campaign. Uh, this will be the first base game campaign I got done in Europe. We just finished up the stadium campaign. That's part of the DLC of the year two package. 
All right, pour the concrete. Well, let's just leave the crane where it is. And I think getting the mic, uh, wait a minute. Well, you know, if I fast travel, I could do that. I don't think I can get around our... Oh, wait, this is the, uh, this is the all-in-one. I don't want the all-in-one. Uh, where, where, uh, where is my mixer? It's got to be up here at the pitch. There it is. Let's fall through the map like we usually do. Uh, we are down here at the bridge. Fast travel. Watch out for our drill itself. Got a little concrete in there, so we'll pour that out first. Floored up the ramp. There we go. Let's see, I want that. Angling that way. Uh, extend the chute, I think. Because why not? Not that much of a drop down onto... Whoop, that's a little bit too far. Onto the bridge. Well, that covers a large area and pours a lot faster. <laughs> yep, drive right over it, because why wouldn't you? This is a lot better than watching me fiddle around with the concrete pump. Either one, honestly. Imagine real life driving a truck like this over wet cement and having to explain that to the boss later on. Like, well, it got the job done a lot quicker. Question is going to be who's going to clean the truck? That's, that's what everyone wants to know. Ninety four percent done and voila. Uh yep, let's go do another section. I'm sure that's what they're gonna have me do. As I wait okay, wait a minute, they're doing they did more for us. Swing <laughs> for the game to make up its mind, like uh what do you want me to do here? Okay, I don't need to get right to the edge. And we're empty. Alright, let's get this little section over here. I say little section, but the next row.
Easy peasy, nice and easy as they say. Until you run out of concrete. All right, 93%. And voila. Uh, clear the marked area. Does it matter where I go? I'm, I'm kind of in the middle. So we'll turn it around and we'll go out the other way, I guess. All right, so I wonder what the next step is going to be. Apply asphalt. All right, I don't think we got any of that equipment. Let's jump out of that. Let's check the company and we'll go to vehicle fleet. I don't think I got anything for asphalt, even though we did some at the very beginning, but. I didn't buy any of that stuff. Uh, we didn't have the cash at the time. Yeah, so we got soil compactor, but that's that. That's it. Uh, let's go ahead and... I guess it doesn't matter which store I go to. Uh, vehicle dealer. Let's enter. Uh, does man make any of that stuff? Uh, don't think so. How about La Bear? Uh, La Bear, La Bear, La Bear. I'm looking at the material here. Well, no La Bear stuff either. Uh, Sani is the other one that we do. I'm thinking Sani's gonna have something, right? Uh, Asphalt Paver, Sani. Uh, purchase. Yes. And while we're in here, I need... Wait, so Sandy makes an asphalt paver, but they don't make an asphalt... Oh, there it is. Uh, that is going to cost me 80, 89000 All right, now let's get over to here and asphalt paver. Let's enter. Ooh, where are you going to teleport me over here? Because this is going to kind of suck a bit, I think. Uh, yep, yeah, teleport. It's going to take me a moment to move the machine up there. <laughs> Refuel repair. All right, give me a moment to turn this around. I think the back end's hitting. All right, it's got some speed to it, actually, so it's not slow. I mean, it's faster than the excavator that I usually takes a while for it to get going. All the way around. I I hope they have me move my uh, con the old one concrete pour and pump down there before they remove the float bridge. Holding up traffic a little bit. All right, we have arrived. All right, uh, extend the paving screen. Fill it up with some asphalt. I don't know how close to the edge I'm going to need to get, but we'll do it like that. 
Not far enough on, apparently. There we go. Like a professional. So I'm guessing I gotta go all the way down to the other end. And then probably turn around and come back. And I'm guessing I'm going up to those safety cones on the left hand side. So probably three passes overall. And then we'll bring up the asphalt compactor and compact it down. I'm almost out of asphalt though. It's going to be a couple times I'm going to be almost out of asphalt. Okay, it says it's empty, but we're still... No, there we go. I think I can get a little bit further away from the edge here. We were doing, I mean, we're still doing fine on money, but we were getting close to like $6 million in the bank account. But in the last few episodes, we have certainly purchased a few items here or there. Let's see, 75, whoop, wasn't paying attention. We're out of asphalt again. The one thing I don't want to do is accidentally, which we do, I, well, sorry, I say we, uh, that I do often, hitting the reset button. Don't want to be doing that here. So actually, one more pass is going to do it because I'm at 61% of applying the asphalt. So let's uh, just spin this around. I say spin it around. So two passes will do it. Actually, I don't even need the entire second pass. Okay, fill it up with asphalt. I may not start uh, another full campaign today, even though usually my episodes go about an hour. But maybe today we'll just finish this one up. And uh, we'll, we'll at least start the next campaign and talk to whoever it is and kind of see what the job is. But I say that now in 10, 10, 15 minutes from now, maybe like, oh, let's just throw this together or get it started. Please uh, let me have enough... Oh, there we go. That's why I wanted to be sure. Uh, let me go ahead and empty. Retract that. Right, let's get this off the job site. Uh, you going to stay at four miles an hour? How about if I get off the asphalt? Nope, nope, nope. Can't go that way. I just realized they got the other end blocked off. Oh, there you go. Now you want to go at full speed. I don't know why. Every time I, I lay the asphalt in this game, I can just, like, feel the heat coming off of it. Alright, so now we got to grab our... Uh... And then that, and then fall through the map, right? Or fly up in the air. Or, or, or neither. That works too. I don't know if that counts as uh, repairing or refueling or not. 
I mean, it's already at 100%, so I don't know how it could be. All right, let's go compact some asphalt, shall we? I must say, though, uh, there's got to be a lot of spots to explore on the map. Being that there's a hundred hammers that they put on here, and I found 13 of them or something like that. But as I saw on the USA map and also on the Spaceport map, there's a lot of room for more DLCs or expansions and things to be built on those maps. So far, my favorite one has been uh, the Spaceport map. I mean, we're, we're talking about three maps here. Really haven't been on the European one enough, I think, to really give it a good grade or anything like that. All right, got to get on there completely. All right, so we've had issues. If we go too fast sometimes with a, the asphalt compactor, that it doesn't quite get the job done. I wonder if they fixed it in any of the patches since then. That goes back to the USA map where we did the uh, go-karts. Let me just uh, double check behind us here. Well, so far so good. Although she's got a little bit of a bounce in her. Kind of like the uh, bandit truck on SnowRunner. Where I bounce up and down on that thing. I would like to get up to like 33% on one pass. But that's not going to happen. So, if we get up to 25%, of course, that means four passes. You think the bridge would have been like one of the first or the second job that we had to do? Seemed like getting the uh, traffic going would be priority number one. At least that's my priority most of the time. It's what we try to do in SnowRunner. It is somewhat satisfying though compacting the asphalt down for some reason. I, I don't know why. So, I mean, is this going to be the last job or... Is, is there going to be... I'm, I'm just, it must be something after it because we're only... You know 80% done but I know there was a job in a campaign somewhere that I did where the last like 15 or 18% of the job was talking to whoever I was doing the job for so definitely two more passes well, one full pass and almost a uh, full second pass.
All right, looks like we got plenty of room to try to cover as much area as I can. And if I miss a little bit in the scene here, that's all right. Kind of like to get the uh, job done in this in-game day. But I probably have to move a lot of equipment out of the area. But now that I got the stuff to do roads... I'm trying to think if there's actually any equipment, you know, for certain jobs. I mean, what am I missing? Do we do we own everything at this point? I mean, not everything. But I mean, is there a job going to be coming along and it's like, uh, you need this type of uh, equipment? It's like, oh, I don't got any of that. I think I got, if I don't have it all, I got at least 95% uh, of it, right? One would think. I'm hoping uh, that I don't have to drive too far to get all this equipment off the job site. I suppose I could just recall it and put it into the vehicle haul. But I tend to leave my vehicles at the last job site that they're at. Ninety-two percent on compacting asphalt and eighty-five percent on the entire job. All right, let me turn off the compacting. I don't know if that makes this thing drive any faster. Clear the marked area. Well, we're doing so. All right, clear the job site. All right, we can do that. Let's get it down the ramp a little bit here, because I don't know if this ramp is... Well, it shouldn't disappear because I would think they would at least uh, have me drive out the blue area is not until here. So if they were to get rid of the ramp, I was hoping they would tell me to get off the ramp completely. Okay. Uh, can I jump over this? Am I athletic enough today? Oh, yes, we are. Uh, I always try to get into where the crane acts. Well, the active part of the crane is, not the driver's seat. Uh, do that. Do that. Moving too fast to refuel. Are you sure about that? So, I mean, that actually counts of uh, repairing and refueling on the job site. I think I got to do that like 50 times in total. And we will go ahead and repair and refuel this also. Because we can.
All right, speak with the investor. Oh, he's up here, so we'll just drive right on up here. Part of me wants to see if I can run him over. Sorry, did I say that out loud? I'm excited, and this time I mean it. Not only did our efficient and rapid implementation impress the city council, we're also ensuring that the working population will no longer be stuck in so many traffic jams in the mornings. This will certainly have a positive impact on my image among the city's residents. I'm curious to see what will happen next. We will see. We will see. So, there's something about him. You gotta say, there's something about that guy. Well, the road's open and so is my equipment. Or it's like right in the middle of the road. Uh, but it's all good. And the float bridge is gone, gone. Uh, all right, so we will go ahead and go down to campaign. So prestige projects is done. Uh, so we got three more campaigns in full. Uh, let's see what renewable energies has to do. So the park. Seems like a medium kind of a job. I don't want to say only pays 242000 so uh, yeah, we'll go ahead, go ahead and have the meeting. Uh, where are we going here? Right here. Not too far. But we'll get started on the job by talking to her wherever she is. I'm the city's environmental officer. This city could really use someone who jumps into the action and just does the right thing. Maybe you noticed the dilapidated building that used to be here until recently. Nope. For years, it had been close to collapsing. It was contaminated with asbestos. Oh, no. The residents are so relieved that the thing is finally gone. Me too. Your task is to integrate the former wasteland into the surrounding parkland. I, I mean, I, I think I can manage something like that. All right, so what do we got here? All right, so we got to move, got to move some cars. Uh, stationary crane or mobile crane? I'm not seeing a spot for a stationary crane yet. Where does the building materials go? Do I have building materials to take care of? Uh, we do, right here. No, that's the wrong button. Uh, building materials store. No, it's prefab. Building materials. Why is this green kind of, uh, uh, acting kind of weird? Uh, building materials, yes. And then filters, we need one of those, one of those, one of those. And then check out and then deliver for 864. So there's that stuff delivered. So I think I got to bring up the stationary, uh, sorry, mobile crane. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything for stationary crane. I mean, it, it doesn't seem like it's a big job anyways, so. So the other thing I'm kind of looking for, because usually when you get a new job for a campaign, you usually can see a hammer, but uh, I, I, I currently don't see one. I might, it could have been, you know, I walked right past it. I've done that before. All right, so we'll see, uh, you know, we'll get this job started next time. So move some wreck cars, broken sewer elements, destroy road section. And then we got all the parts up here. We'll start throwing things together with our mobile crane. But yeah, I think that's what we're going to wrap it up because I want to start the campaign kind of fresh at the beginning of an episode. And who knows, being such a, I don't want to say a small job that it appears to be, maybe we can get it all done in within the hour. But anywho, uh, yeah, if you made this far in the video and you liked what you saw, don't forget to hit that like button. Helps out the channel and the video more than you know. And if you haven't done so already, you think about doing so, hit that subscribe button as well. But that's what we're going to wrap it up for today. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always, and I'll catch you again right here at Construction Simulator, but until then...
Have a good one.